My name is Gail Spring and I'm the Adjunct Associate Professor of Scientific Photography at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia. I've worked in forensic and biomedical photography for over 35 years and have encountered many imaging problems in that area. I'd like to share with you now a few tutorials and demonstrations addressing some of those issues that I've discovered. This demonstration is going to approach the problem of photographing uh, a mirror uh, where you want to see the information on the mirror, marks, blood splatter, whatever it might be, but you don't want yourself in the mirror when you photograph it. The classic way would be to take a camera, stand right in front of it, take a picture of not only what's on the mirror, but of you as well. This technique is going to show you how you can take a picture of a mirror looking pretty much straight into the mirror, uh, but you won't be seen in the mirror. We're going to use, in this case, a perspective control lens. A perspective control lens allows the photographer to set the camera in one single position and yet be able to move the lens up and down, which moves the picture image up and down, or side to side by rotating these dials. Perspective control lenses were used classically in a lot of architecture work uh, where you want to take out some of the perspective distortion in photographing tall buildings. But I'm going to show you today how to use it in a forensic setting where we can photograph a mirror without photographing ourselves. This is the way the camera would be set up for traditionally if you walked on a scene and you wanted to photograph a mirror. I'm standing with the camera directly in front of the mirror. And as we can see, not only can I see me in the mirror, I can see the camera, I can see the tripod, and also I can see everything that's in the back of this area that we're, we're photographing. So anything that would be on a wall, any people walking by, you're going to see that image as, as well. With the perspective control lens now, I can, as, as I showed earlier, I can move the lens without moving the camera back and forth, shifting it from side to side, as you can see here. The mirror is moving across my field of view. If I move this all the way to the right, for example, I still see me in the mirror. I see the tripod and the camera. Now the challenge is to take the tripod and the camera and simply move it sideways. So I center the mirror back in the field of view, but I'm no longer looking directly into the mirror, so the mirror will not see that. So if I simply shift this sideways to where I'm out of that area, I can bring the lens back to where the mirror is back in the center of the frame. And as you can see, I am no longer in the side of the mirror. I am now looking at what the mirror is seeing over my right shoulder. The last thing I need to do now is to be able to distinguish what's on the mirror versus the background noise. In this case, I've used white sunscreen, and white, I want to choose something that's going to contrast with, so therefore I'm going to choose black. If it was something like blood splatter or other kinds of darker material, I might use actually a white piece of material in the back. As you can see, I have a piece of black material prepared, and I'm simply going to bring that in so that it reflects off of the mirror. I see through the camera the reflection of the black material that will enhance the white contrast. Let's do that. And by proper positioning of the black material, I can see nothing now but black, therefore the contrast of the white on the mirror.